Robotics, the intelligent robotic mower. Just press the button and the robot takes care of your lawn all by itself. Manage your time efficiently while the robot does the work for you. An advanced battery powered electric mulcher, it operates quietly and is environmentally friendly. A built-in program determines the mowing pattern for the entire lawn. Accurate mowing along the edges. No pre-programming necessary. It works so quietly that it can be used even at night. Your robotic mower mulches the lawn and buries the small clippings into the grass, creating a natural, healthy fertilizer while eliminating the need to collect the clippings. A manual controller lets you steer the robot from storage to lawn. Friendly Robotics is devoted to developing home robotic appliances that liberate people from routine chores. While your robotic mower is working, you hardly know it's there. It takes care of your lawn all by itself. comes fully prepared for operation. However, a few tasks need to be performed at your lawn in order to enable automatic mowing. All the accessories needed to set up the robot in your garden are supplied with the product. They should all be taken out of the box. The robot can be lifted out of the box by two people as shown. The following accessories are included with the robot. Battery pack, perimeter wire, perimeter switch, instruction video, pegs, robo ruler, user's manual, charger. The perimeter switch should be located at a spot sheltered from sun, rain, and irrigation away from children's reach. Pull the perimeter switch cover off and insert the batteries. Alkaline batteries are recommended. Polarity should be according to the drawing on the case. Locate the base of the perimeter switch straight up and mount it on the wall, pointing upwards as shown. Place the cover on the mounted base. It would be too early to activate the perimeter switch at this stage. If you do, however, the wire disconnected light will illuminate and a beeping sound will start. This is because the perimeter wire loop is not yet connected to the perimeter switch. To turn off the perimeter switch, press the on button continuously for three seconds. Starting at the perimeter switch location, Uncoil the perimeter wire and lay it loosely along the lawn edges. In large lawns, you can add as much wire as you want using the wire connectors provided in the box. Start setting the perimeter wire by sticking pegs at the lawn corners. Use the robo ruler provided for setting the right distance from the lawn edge as shown. Upon hammering the peg to its final depth in the ground, Pull the wire tight. It is essential that the peg's head is hammered below ground level. Use the entire length of the rover ruler as wall edge as shown. After pegging the corners and pulling the wire tight, go around the wire and add pegs wherever the wire is loose or high above the ground. Use the robo ruler for accurate placement of the wire when bypassing obstacles at the lawn edges. Avoid creating corners sharper than 90 degrees, since a corner like this might make your robot leave the wire while mowing the edge. 
When the obstacle edges are too low to be detected by the robot, use the perimeter wire to create a perimeter island around the obstacle. Both wires leading to the perimeter island should be attached together. Apply the same method for flower beds, young trees, and ponds. Areas with obstacles grouped closely together should be covered by a single perimeter island or if they are close to the edge, leave them out of the designated area. After pegging the wire all around the lawn, join the beginning and the end wires. Twist and peg them down while leading to the perimeter switch so they will not produce an obstacle. Strip off the ends, insert the wires to the connector, either wire to either opening and tighten the screws. The two parts of the connector are easily connected and separated in order to use the perimeter switch at additional lots if needed. Activate the perimeter switch by pressing the green on button. If correctly connected, the on light will blink. When having more than one lot, the perimeter switch may be moved from one lot to another using the special plastic wedge. Locate the wedge at least three feet from the perimeter wire. Prior to the first operation only, the following steps are required. Make sure the battery pack is not in the robot. Adjust the front wheel to its highest position. Insert the battery pack, then steer your robot to a flat part of the lawn. Return the manual controller to its cradle. Once the green button is pressed, the display will change to set geolocation. The button display will read location. Press the green button again. The display should read not set. Scroll to your country and press the green button. Press the C button twice to return to the main menu and press the green button to start mowing. If setting the geolocation is not accurate enough for your yard, a direction keeping calibration will be required and a calibration required message will appear. The button display line should read calibrate. Press the green button. The display will change to activate motors and the bottom display line will read confirm. Press the green button again and the mower will turn around to orient its compass to your yard. After finishing the DK calibration, the display will show a score. If the calibration was not successful, the display will read retry elsewhere. Move the robot to a different part of your lawn and retry. When DK calibration is OK, the display will indicate a series of numbers. Any score is OK. There is an option of setting work time for the robot. Press the green button for settings. Scroll to work time. Press the green button. Scroll to set the designated work time and press the green button to OK. You can set work time for up to four zones. A, B, C, and D. Setting is not necessary before every operation. 
The work time you have set will be the default on the next operations until set differently. Remove the battery pack before any settings. Set mowing heights according to your grass condition. The rear wheel's height to one of its three positions and turn the front wheel in order to select one of the six height options. Use the manual controller to steer your robot to the lawn edge. Position it at a 45 degree angle to the perimeter wire facing left. Return the manual controller to its cradle. Turn the perimeter switch on. Press the green button to activate automatic mowing. The robot will detect the wire, retract and advance a few times until it positions itself properly and then accurately mow along the perimeter wire. Depending on how you lay the wire, your robot will precisely cut the edge of the lawn, accurately avoiding obstacles. Modification of the perimeter wire is simple. Just take out a few pegs and replace as necessary. After mowing one to two turns around the edges, the robot will enter the lawn and continue mowing in a triangular pattern across the lawn. Upon reaching the lawn edge, it will stop, retract a little, and change direction in proportion to the mowing line's length. The perimeter wire set around the tree's flower bed as a perimeter island will stop the robot from entering this area. All kinds of obstacles will be mowed around since the robot changes the triangular direction whenever it hits a side perimeter wire. The wall around the fountain pond and similar firm objects will be treated as a regular obstacle. The robotic mower will continue doing sets of triangles at different directions till the end of its designated work time. Do not expect your robot to cut 100% of your lawn on any single operation. Good looking lawns are achieved by operating the robotic mower frequently. If you choose to operate your robot without mowing the edge first, press the green button twice to confirm skip edge. The robot will now mow in a triangular pattern in different directions. Manual mowing is useful for small grassy areas where automatic operation is not possible. Always walk behind the robot. Activate the mowing motors by pressing the C button and the manual mow button in this order. When the mowing motors start, let go of the C button and steer the robot using the navigator. Releasing the manual mow button will stop the mowing motors. Apply pressure in the direction you want to steer. The robot needs to be charged after each operation. Steer your robot to its storage spot. Return the manual controller to its cradle. Plug the charger into the robot and plug its other end into a standard household outlet. A charging message will be displayed. When the charging process is completed, a fully charged message will be displayed. Keep the robot charged at all times when not operated. Remove the battery pack in order to replace the cutting blades of your robot or remove them for cleaning.
prior to any attempt, wear gloves as a safety precaution. Pull out the blades while pressing the locks on either side of the blade center. To insert a blade, put it on its axle and press until you hear the locks click. Make certain that the blades are far from children's reach. If a no wire signal message appears, make sure the perimeter switch is connected and turned on. Check whether the wire disconnected or replaced batteries lights are blinking on the perimeter switch. If the message still appears, make sure your robot is positioned properly. If you relocate the robot more than 100 miles from its set location, DK calibration should be initiated. Scroll down through the settings menu till diagnostics and press the green button. Scroll to DK calibration and press the green button to confirm. Step back before the robot begins to turn. Now you are ready to enjoy your free time while the robotic lawnmower does its job. One press of the button and your lawn will be mowed quietly and accurately. Robots might be dangerous. Read and follow all safety instructions in the user's manual. Never allow children, adults, or pets around the robot while mowing is in process. For more information, see the user's manual. You are also welcome to visit our website at www.friendlyrobotics.com.